They say opposites attract, and it couldn't be more true for these two. But the city girl and the country boy really do make the perfect match. John, Chelsea's fun-loving and caring heart, is matched by your charming demeanor and your genuine spirit. You still give her butterflies after eight years together, and her eyes still light up the second you walk into the room. Chelsea. John loves your outgoing and approachable personality, your commitment and drive towards family and friends, your motivation and dedication to improving yourself and being successful every single day, your cooking, your flawless smile, and the way you look at him when you kiss. John, Chelsea loves that you're still as affectionate in your eight as you were in your one. She loves that no matter what you're busy with, you always drop it and give her a hug and a kiss when she walks through the door. The first thing she noticed about you, other than your good looks, was that you're always surrounded by so many friends. Your fun-loving energy, sense of humor, charming personality, always makes you the light in the room. Everything you do never goes unnoticed, and she feels lucky to call you her husband. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, even teacher. For you have learned so much from one another over the last eight years. Shortly you'll say a few words that will take you across a threshold of life. And things between you will never quite be the same. For after today, you shall say the word, this is my husband, this is my wife. John, do you take Chelsea to be your wife? to share your life with her and build your dreams together. Support her through times of trouble and rejoice with her in times of happiness. Give her respect, love, and loyalty. Promise a commitment made in love, kept in faith, lived in hope, and made new every day of your lives. I do. Chelsea, do you take John to be your husband? To share your life with him and build your dreams together. Support him through times of trouble and rejoice with him in times of happiness. Give him respect, love, and loyalty. Promise a commitment made in love, kept in faith, lived in hope, and made new every day of your lives. I do. Now, with the power vested in me by a quick Google search, a forged signature, <laughs> and a tool pack of Natty Light, it's my honor to declare you husband and wife. John, you may kiss your bride. It's my pleasure to announce for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Ward. with the friendship of this couple for the last eight years. And first and foremost, Chelsea, if you're half as good of a friend as you are going to be a wife, you guys are gonna have a marriage made in heaven. John, thank you for making my best friend the happiest girl in the world. Chelsea has always joked with me that the reason she and I get along so well is because I'm the girl version of John. And <laughs> we laugh about it and it's funny, but Honestly, it's the best compliment that anyone could ever give me because, John, you truly are an amazing man. Chelsea, thank you for giving my best friend all the love and admiration that a man could ever ask for. There are times over the years as you were putting on your makeup and getting ready to go out with your girlfriends and John was coming home to put dead squirrels in the freezer <laughs> that I thought, man, He's really gonna mess this up, you know, he's gonna let this one get away. Uh, but we made it here today, and it's been truly amazing watching you guys learn and grow in your love together. John and Chelsea were made for each other, and have really grown into adulthood together. As cheesy as it sounds, they truly make each other better. John handles Chelsea better than anyone else I know. He puts up with her moods when she doesn't get enough sleep, 
and all her weird obsessions like dinosaurs or Harry Potter. <laughs> She was growing up, she could sing you every Blue Magic song there was, every stylistic song there was, because that's all we played in our car. I don't know where this country stuff came from. Thanks, Sean. Yeah. I'm going to make you a mixtape. On behalf of my family, we'd like to welcome John into our family. He's had an eight-year audition. He knows what he's getting into. And, we st and he still didn't get scared away. So we welcome him with open arms. You know, he is one of the favorite uncles, but you know, there are five favorite uncles in this house. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on a tablet of your heart. Remember these three things. Have faith in your life, have hope for your dreams, and love for each other. But the greatest of these is a love for each other.